Um, one of the cool moves you can do is called a pulse lunge. Um, it's similar to lunge. You've got a, a staggered stance here still, but instead of maybe taking a step forward or a step back, you just assume like kind of like a lunge stance, um, and you just stay right here, and you lower on down. You come right back up, and there's a couple of reasons I like it is the tension throughout this whole movement. It's not a fast movement. It's not a step back and up. You're just holding it. So you can just do a body weight. You don't even really need a weight for this. You can get a good workout without adding any amount of weight to it. And uh, what kind of differentiates, it's going to feel a little different than a regular lunge because you're kind of pushing through your back foot as well as your front foot. So you're not coming forward, stepping up here, you're shifting back, going straight down, keeping that tension, raising back up. You feel it kind of in your uh, hip flexor right here, working in a way you might not be familiar with. And then if the body weight ones are pretty easy, you can always grab kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever you might have, one each hand, same movement, right down the middle, straight up. So how is this for people who are, are challenged with their balance when you're working with your clients? Is this good for people with balance issues or not? This one's actually easier than a forward lunge, reverse lunge. This is actually more difficult to keep your balance with all these movements, whereas if you're just planted, you're steady, you go. And I mean, you might have a little bit of sway here and there, but you'll get it before too long. It's not a real challenging. What was the other movement that you wanted to show us, the unique movement? Um, it's similar to the uh, pulse lunge. It's a renegade lunge. It utilizes tension, and it kind of works your range of motion a little bit because it's going to put you down deep where you might not be super comfortable bearing weight. So, you know, you always want to probably try it with that weight, but uh, if you do it a weight, you can hold it right here. Go to one side, come down across almost like in a U shape, and come back up, and you're going to feel your hips down in this stretch. You want to work that and work that outer range of motion where you might not be familiar bearing weight at, and that's going to help you with a more functional movement pattern. Good. It looks like you're really locking that leg out on one side and keeping mm -hmm. tension on the other. Yeah, it's a, it's a steady movement. It's not a real quick, you're not going to feel satisfied like you're curling with bicep. You know, you get up here and you're just done. It's a, it's a journey, you know. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's take a look at this from the other side, uh, the Renegade Lunge and the Pulse Lunge. Okay, start off with the Pulse Lunge here. Like when you're down, you're going to have about a 90, 90 degree angle between your front and knee and everything will kind of sit better down. Take it, shift that weight back, come straight up. So you're shifted a little further back than you would in a normal lunge. Normal lunge might be up here. Yeah, you're Push really you keeping back. that, yeah, that's Instead what you here. don't want to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So right down there, keep that tension to it, you really, you can just... Slow it down. You really, you know. So where are you feeling the tension in that? Do you have it in both legs? Is it on yeah. the front or the back? Yeah, you're feeling it in both. You're feeling it, you know, down your quad on the front leg. You're feeling it right in your hip flexor here in the back. The glutes are engaged. Yeah, hip flexor staying nice and open on that. Great. I love it. Okay, let's see the renegade lunge from the other side as well. So you just want to mm -hmm. keep your chest up tall. You don't want to be leaning too far forward on this. Stare it up right. You just hold it out at chest level. Oh yeah, I can really see that spine is nice and tall. Um, go ahead and show them what you don't want to see um, from the side if they're doing this at home. You don't want to lean down. Right, it's not like you're dipping oh, under a limbo bar, right? Yeah. Awesome. Renegade lunge and pulse lunge. Uh, trainer tip of the day. Thanks, Will.